Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mike on the Move. I am Mike, and you're watching a special episode that I am putting together about travels and knowing one's family ancestry. So my channel is really focused on travels, right? And really allows me to indulge in places and cultures different from my own so I can share my experiences and recommendations to all of you on YouTube. Um, but I also think that it's important that when we do travel, we, in order for us to have a really deep appreciation of our travels, we also need to know where we all come from. Uh, luckily, I grew up with both my mom and dad as a child. I grew up with both of them and my grandmother, um, so I learned a lot about my mom's side, about my dad's side. Um, the last two generations are from Baja, California, Mexico, Tijuana. And uh, so for those of you who are Tijuanenses out there, you know, uh, we, you know, this is where we're from. Um, I also myself lived, um, I was a border child. I live in San Diego and live in Tijuana. So I feel like I have a close connection of my past. But to be honest, um, before that, I don't know much about. I know my mom's side is from uh, Leon, Guanajuato, Mexico, but I never really asked um, further than that. Uh, not that it doesn't exist, not that the information does not exist out there, I just never really asked. I could ask though, but I haven't done it yet though. But over the holidays, I was gifted a 23andMe kit. It's the Health and Ancestry kit. I was gifted this. I would never buy this on my own. I never had a strong interest to know about my past. But since I was gifted this over the holidays, why not give it a try? So for those of you who are interested um, in the 23andMe Health and Ancestry kit and watching this video today, I want to quickly, quickly highlight what the kit includes. Let me pull this up online real quick. So let's check this out. So the Health and Ancestry Kit includes 1,500 plus geographic regions, automatic family tree builder, 30 trait report, DNA relative finder, plus, um, because this is a, um, a second edition or I guess the second offering of the kit, right? So it's not the basic standard, it's the Health and Ancestry. You get 10 plus health predisposition reports, which includes um, a report on my genetics and how that can influence my chance of developing certain conditions. It also includes five wellness reports. Um, I guess what that means is how my genes can play a role in my well-being and everyday lifestyle choices. Okay. And then 40 plus carrier status report. What that means is um, a report that shares potential inherited conditions which you can pass on to your offspring. So that's what the report will include. Let's get this started. Okay, I am removing the cover from the box here. This is the kit. It has a return label already on it. You open it up. It comes with a greeting card slash instruction guide. It is a very uh, clean, you know, approach to this kit. Comes with a little box with the the utensils you need uh, to do your um, sampling, and that's pretty much what comes inside the box. In the guide, it's pretty straightforward, step by step. It does ask you to register online first, either via your app or just on the computer. Um, so step by step, shares with you. Step one, register online. Step two, most, very, very important, you do not eat or drink anything for at least 30 minutes. And then you want to fill this sample tube a little above the halfway point with your saliva. Um, and then you're going to uh, basically put the tube back into this, the self-return posted box, seal it up and we'll wait for the results to come back. So I will be back to share with you all the results that I will be receiving about my family ancestry. We'll talk soon. All right, so it's been 14 days since I submitted my 23andMe sample DNA test, and today I got an email which reads, 
Mike, welcome to you. The 23andMe results for Mike Gonzalez are in. A world of DNA discovery is waiting. So I'm really excited to share this with you all. I have not seen the results yet. Um, you and I will be experiencing the first time results now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this email to read my report. All right, so let's check this out. Where am I going? So where do I go? Ancestry report. Let's click on this. MG, that's me. Your DNA suggests your ancestry is 42% Native American, which ties to seven other populations. Am I surprised? I'm not sure yet. All right. Wow. Okay. So 46% is of East Asian and Native American. So 40% Native American, 0.1% Chinese or Southeast Asian, 0.1% Indonesian, Thai, and then 3% broadly East Asian and Native American. Not surprised, 34.6% European. So 32% Southern European, 25% Spanish, Portuguese, and then 6% broadly Southern European. Um, all right. Sub-Saharan African, 6%. All right. And then 2% Western Asian and North African. So I'm a little, well, I'm not a Sama Hayek, but I have some, I have like a 0.1%. Interesting. Um, recent ancestry in Americas, Mexico, and Central America. Okay. So, um, all right. So let's take a look. So it says here that the strongest region of my, for my DNA test is... It looks like, I can't read this, it's not, how do I zoom out? There we go. Durango, huh. It's just interesting because a lot of my family, at least they say they're from either Tijuana, Baja California, or um, Guanajuato, Leon, or even Jalisco. So it says that right now, um, well, all right, so in the, past, in the last 200 years, your ancestors may have lived in the following locations. We found evidence of your recent ancestry in the following regions. Darker regions represent places where you have DNA in common with more people who reported ancestry from a particular region. Because these results reflect the ancestries of individuals currently in our reference database, expect to see your results change over time as the database grows. So currently, the biggest area of people like me with my DNA is in Durango, which I don't know anyone from Durango. Jalisco makes sense. Zacatecas, I don't know very much fa my family being there. And then Guanajuato, very familiar with, oh, well, it's another Leon, huh? Okay. Michoacan, Chihuahua, Guanajuato, Sinaloa, Mexico City. So I have a lot to talk about when I see my family. Of course, showing no ancestry connections to Baja, which I know the last, um, few generations of my father and mother's side also lived in Baja for a long time. But let's go back to the report. Let's go back home. What else can we find here? All right, so that was the ancestry report. Look at the health report. All right. My health action plan. All right, so what that means, I'm not sure. It's my first time looking at this with you all. So bear with me as I learn this platform on 23andMe. Hmm. Click here just to view your type two diabetes report, okay. All right. It says here that people of European descent with genetics like yours have an estimated 30% chance of developing type 2 diabetes between ages 34 and 80. That's not too bad. Um, all right, so let's go back to 
a report. All right, everyone. So that's my results. You checked out uh, my live experience as I discover my DNA ancestry report. Um, very, very um, informative for me to learn where I come from. As you know, um, my channel is really focused about me traveling the world under Mike on the Move and really experiencing cultures and places different from my own. So I think it's important to know where I come from. Now, I hope you did like my video. Um, please, if you are looking to do a 23andMe um, DNA report, um, please let me know if you have any questions or if you've done a report, let me know your experience. I want to know how you experienced your report and what you found out. Um, I bet a lot of folks are watching this video out there who are also interested in learning more about themselves. So if you have any questions, comments, or um, recommendations, as always, please share them with me. Before you head out, please make sure to like Mike on the Move so I can keep you posted on my latest videos and adventure. Talk to you all soon.